When I'm in natural ecosystems, I feel a sense of calm, a sense of enlightenment, inspired. It is what it is to be human, to be in our natural environment. I'm a conservation scientist, so I work on applied conservation problems. That involves working with stakeholders to identify key problems, using mathematics and geography to identify solutions, and then communicating them to the public and to the stakeholders. The diversity of life on Earth is being lost at a rapid rate, and humans are a key part of that decline, and they're also integral to solving that loss. So down on the Gold Coast, they are restoring degraded farmland and spending millions of dollars on this restoration effort. So we're working with them to work out how they can distribute that funding so that they get a greater area restored quickly and they get greater benefits for the, the local communities in the Gold Coast. I'm one of the lead researchers on an Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence and that has enabled us to connect the leading experts around Australia and internationally to become the epicentre globally of research for environmental decision science. Presently we're working in Borneo, Australia and we're working in Chile. In Chile we're looking at the options for expanding the protected areas network so that more people have access to national parks for recreation and for enjoying nature, whilst also improving the representation of native species and forest types. In 10 years' time, we will have a better understanding of the costs of environmental protection. We'll have a better understanding of the benefits, both for plants and species, but also for humans. And we'll have a better understanding of what makes environmental policy effective and successful.